because it comes with um, like a like a film on it. Um, so you have to rinse it all off to make sure it tastes good. So I'm going to measure four cups of rice and we're going to rinse that rice. Four cups should make a pretty good amount of sushi rolls too. cold water on it, swish it around to get that film off until the water runs clear inside and it will be ready. You can see that film coming off. times of rinsing. Rinse our rice. We're going to put it in the pot for the um, rice cooker. I recommend to get one of these. They're like $25 at Walmart and you can steam and cook rice, uh, white, um, long grain, and wheat rice. Um, and it gets it done perfect. Okay, so we're going to take our four cups of rice, pour it inside this rice cooker pot. Get all of it. And we're going to add equal amounts of water to this rice. So we're going to add four cups of water. rice is covered. It was covered just barely by the water. All right, we're going to take it over and put it in our rice cooker. I'm going to turn it on and set it for white rice. Okay, our sushi rice is finished cooking, so now we're going to add the ingredients to make it the real sushi rice. So we're going to dump this into our non-metallic bowl. This rice, just kind of separate it a little bit. Okay. To this rice, we're going to add um, a quarter cup of rice vinegar. cup of sake. Just gives it a little bit more flavor. Alright. And then a quarter cup of sugar. Just 
plain white granular sugar. that up until the sugar is dissolved. All right. Now we pour it on our rice, only we don't pour it directly on the rice. We're going to use this wooden spoon um, to sprinkle it onto the rice so it's not so harsh on that rice. So we'll just kind of sprinkle it around. this around without smashing the rice down. You don't want it to get flattened. You like nice fluffy rice that actually sticks together. Make sure it all gets coated with, with that mixture. All right, once all the rice is coated, we're going to let it cool down um, before we start making our rolls. So uh, you can either cover this or just let it breathe and let the, the steam come up and finish uh, cooking those um, flavors all together um, as we wait for it to, to cool off to make into rolls.